They also have a lot of opportunities to split push, and they have a huge amount of globals. And the one thing that uh, G2 did exceptionally well last week against Splice... You have to be very cautious if you're G2. Uh, Yanko's going to be the one to step up, the never move, pull back, and Yanko splashes away, but there's no place to go. First blood to H2K. And I'd love to talk a little bit more about Yankos, but we've got to keep our eyes on this bot lane match. Which is going to be able to get the suppression onto Promise Q. Here comes the never move and the Vision of Empire as well. Hyana having to run away. Promise Q just trying to trade in. But Sheriff maybe overstepped here because Yankos is on his way down as well. And now G2 will capitalize in the bottom lane. Let's be very cautious because Larson's on his way as well. But Perks can always just jump across the wall. End of the line. Oh, there goes to Kajol. Holy Oh, that was a lot of damage. Perks is going to pay for it with his life. He'll get taken out with a Hema Plague. Larson answers with a kill, but Perks started this game. And now, because of Perks and because of roams like this, he is able just to join the fight with the Weaver's Wall. Larson and Kajal versus Perks and Yankos. H2K versus G2, and it's G2 who are winning. Larson getting chased out by Wadid and Hyanan as well. Gobbled up into the belly. That kind of tasted good, but it tastes good on the tongue of Perks. Two kills to hit. When he goes for his buffs, when he goes for any control of his own jungle, and Perks just goes in for the chase. Kajal answers with some damage, but Yankos comes in to secure that kill. So two. Very clean map movements hit from Oh, G2. Perks straight onto the base of Kajal. Even chases him. The ignite. Tick, tick, boom. Perks gets Kajal. Look at Smitty J. It looks like that he's going to die. No, unstoppable force into the root. Oh, yeah. Oh, he you were right. Die. Yeah, he's going to die. I was well predicted, Betty. Perks will be more than happy to punish later on. Here comes the Ash Arrow. Weaver's Wall hits onto Smitty J. Flash from Sheriff as well. Still, the unstoppable force is available from Smitty here. If they want to try and turn it back around, he's knocked in. There's the unstoppable force, but they don't quite have the damage to follow up. Teleport coming in from Wonder to join the back of this fight. Sheriff on the chase, exhausted straight away. Cadle there. Larson looking for the flank. H2K have to do something right now because Perks is playing the magician and trying to make Promise Q disappear. There's Wonder with the Narm into the wall. Larson, Hemo Plague only on one. Wonder will fall as well, but Perks jumps in. Once again, Kajal, goodbye, my son. Perks is unstoppable. A convincing performance here from G2. H2K trying to make a pick. They'll find one. It's Yankos. He will be the one to fall for, for G2. The chase is still on here. Arrow only connects onto the back line. Smitty J can rejoin the fight, of course, with the unstoppable force. Perks trying to flank, but Hyanan is pulled back. Perks gets onto Smitty J, but that's not the target you want. Has to jump across the wall, and H2K have found some, some semblance of hope in this game. Oh, wait. Oh, Perks dodging. Smitty J, Yankos too good. No Yankos has no mana, but Perks has the chains, and those will send Smitty J will to they? the ether! This is a crucial pick for H2K because Baron spawns in 20 seconds. Oh, Larson flashes in onto Hyanan, but the block on the Hemo Plague. There it comes out. Hyanan pulled back. H2K forcing the fight in a 4v3 at the moment. Sheriff's onto the back line as well. As well, Yankos has to flash away. Wonder in the midst of them all trying to build up that Mega Nah. He gets one. Goes golden as the unstoppable force comes out. Flashes the wall. Gets towards Mega. Looking for the Narm into the wall. He's going to hit it only onto one as Larson gets into the Sanguine Pool just in time. Cannot quite oh, take the lives. He survives and Kajal gets the chase onto Yankos. This is the moment for Perks to prove he belongs on amongst the best EU mid lane. Oh, oh my god! Yes. G2 Perks steals the Baron. Well, there's the risk of Yana getting engaged on, but that's where you can see the positioning of Wadid. Oh, unstoppable engaged. force. That's onto two, but Wonder and Perks are on the Nexus, and H2K do not realize it. G2 are going to sneak the back door in here. Wonder, Perks, and Yankos, the triumphant trio, take down the Nexus. It was all part of the plan. The bait was laid up towards the top lane. Yana and Wadid saying, 